Righto, who is ready to explore some of Malaysia's weird and wonderful food? Oh, I sure know I am. So right now I'm heading to a night market called the Tamonyong Night Market. So it's held in Langkawi every Thursday night from 6 p.m. till 11 p.m. So what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Woo! All right, so first little meal for tonight is deep fried jackfruit. So I've seen jackfruit around a lot, but I actually haven't tried it at all. And some jackfruits get huge. Like I've seen one, it was probably 20 kilograms, just one jackfruit. So I don't even know what it tastes like, but I'll give it a try. And this here was five ring. Oh shit, why is it hard? Okay, it's hard. <laughs> Um, it's like a, it's like a, what is it? It's like a bean, it's like a bean nut texture. It's kind of, I did not expect that. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of tastes like a nut. That's what it looks like. It's good. I like it, I'll bite it then. Uh, next on the list is Doriyaki. No idea what it is. I think it's it's like a pastry. I got three different flavors. So I got a coconut, a corn, and forgot the other one. That'll be a mystery. Um, oh, what is in the middle? Oh, and red bean. Yeah, this is the red bean. Um, that's pretty nice. Kind of tastes a wee bit like a pancake. And then in the middle, there's the red bean paste, but yeah, the texture and the taste, it's a bit like a pancake. Look. So the only bad thing about this market, it seems like there's no sort of designated spot to sit down and eat your food. Uh, I just sort of have to find a spot against the wall and eat it here. Um, but yeah, I got this. It's I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Kuao Tao Mi Goreng. So it's kind of like a rice noodle. I've actually had this a lot. They're really good. And it's sort of mixing like a few vegetables with it. But this is like the cheapest one I've ever gotten. So this proportion right here was only two ringgit. So good, very cheap meal. Um, and it, I'll be keeping track of how much I'm spending throughout the whole night because I really want to know how much I spend at the end of the night. Jesus Christ, it's like food overload around here. <laughs> you just have so many options at every single stall. And I have enough money tonight, so I'm pretty much just gonna keep eating until I explode. Hey, they got the famous takoyaki balls there. So if you haven't seen my video from when I was in Japan on Dottenberry Street, that was when I also went out for like a big night eat. 
Um, takoyaki is a very popular food there, so they're kind of like squid balls. They're all right. Well, everything seems to be very cheap at this night market though. So, um, I've just got a mango shake for three ringgits. Big, big mango shake as well. And every mango drink I've had here, the mangoes are super fresh. So it's really good. Ah, uh, no bag, that's fine. Thank you. Alright, so roti is also another really popular thing around Malaysia. Um, it's just like a really nice, fresh made pastry. Um, they just cook it up there and then. And this, this was only one, one ring it, so very cheap as well. Mm, I absolutely love roti. It's just, uh, it's simple, but so delicious. I bet you've never seen blue rice before. <laughs> so I asked what it was and he's, I think it's like a flour rice. Well, there's like flowers in it. I don't know what it would taste like, but never seen blue rice before. <laughs> Alright, so the moment in time has come for me to try a durian. So I've never had them before, but it is a stinky, stinky fruit. And I've just had someone rock up. It is their first time too, and they want to try my durian, so we'll both give it a go and see what it's like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, then, it looks weird. And then I just take a bite? <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess that's it. It's like really mushy. What is it smells? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't smell that bad when it smells close. It's okay. Yeah? It's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> it's like custody. It looks really soft. Alright, let's do it. Ah, it's so mushy. Oh, yeah. It's, it's okay, right? It, it tastes like custard. Yeah. It kind of tastes a bit like custard. Like if it's savory. Oh, I thought time. it was going to be way worse. <laughs> it's really weird texture, though. That's not bad, surprisingly. <laughs> Thanks. Well, there you go. I braved it out and had some jury, and, and the overall verdict is it's really not that bad. Like, it has a really interesting texture. It's probably got a very bad aftertaste. Like, I, I can taste it a lot in my mouth now. <laughs> But yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I just sort of had a bad thought in my mind because when I was in uh, KL Airport one time, I had a durian flavored chocolate and that flavor stayed in my mouth for six hours and it was the worst taste ever. And I kind of thought that was gonna be the same, but yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't try it again though. All right, so because I still got the taste of durian in my mouth and I really want to get rid of that taste, um, I think it's time for dessert, so it's not really Malaysian per se, but these donuts are delicious and it was only 150 ringgit, so I'll give it a go. Yep, just tastes like a delicious donut. Okay, and for my last and final meal, I will try some corn and coconut pancakes. I just wanted coconut pancakes, but they ran out of those, so I had to get the corn ones as well. Coconut tastes good. Wow, it's really like smushy on the inside. That is nice. I feel like anything I have with coconut in it, I'll absolutely love it. Because you just can't go wrong with coconut. Um, this here too 
was two ringgit. Two ringgit for six little pancakes. Very cheap and pretty good. Well, overall, I just calculated it up. I have spent 21 ringgit and 50 cents for everything. Absolutely everything. So that's a few meals, that's like a drink, a couple desserts. Uh, the durian, that was the most expensive thing, so that was six ringgit. Um, but I just tried to get the smallest one, and that was the smallest one I got. <laughs> but yeah, 21 50 ringgit. That's $7.50 Australian, which is insane because I've just spent like the past two hours walking around, just having an all-you-can-eat buffet. And I'll tell you what, I am completely stuffed, but that was definitely an awesome Malaysian um, food experience. And if you're around Langkawi, definitely check out this market. And I know they have a bunch more around other places around Langkawi, um, just on different days. But that is it for me tonight. I think I'm gonna go back to my hostel, pass out, because I am going to go into food coma. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't be afraid to explore some awesome Malaysian food because pretty much everything I ate today was was good even the durian um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow your dreams escape your comfort zone and I will see you later bye Woo. all right just to inform you guys it has been two hours now since I ate that durian and I can still taste it Ugh, I can still have the aftertaste in my mouth yeah not the best aftertaste that is. Ah.